welcome, welcome everybody. This is Chris speaking, CCTV. I'll show you how I get some of my captures. This is Bloom Sky. Here's the address up here. Because they won't show the videos no more, what I'm doing is this. Okay, see that object? So what I do is I take the name, copy. But the beauty of this is these pictures change in each one of those in each one of those frames. They change, right? Let's go back. I'll show you what I mean. Right here, I seen something. In Malibu. Hang on. We're gonna go to my studio. Um, so I'm in Malibu. Right there. I want to see what that object is. I click it on. And I've been collecting these for a couple of days. So I'm going to show you inside my filter in a minute. I'll show you how I get some of these images. Really quick, you can watch nine cameras at a time. Okay. So you got that part down. So I've been checking out California because I live here. And I got some really good stuff. Okay, let me go to my... Um, to my filter let's just check that out for now um, you know that's a normal picture right like no it ain't. it ain't normal okay so the first thing I do you guys are teaching you how to find stuff put it out I'm gonna dehaze it so what's really happening is really happening just dehazing you see that one black object I go over here and I Remove black, add black. Doesn't change much. So we'll leave that alone. But the contrast should change things. And then you still see it right there. Anyways, I've seen a lot of activity in the Malibu area. Um, that's what I'm probably going to show you here. Just gonna go to a couple of these. I'll show you what's happening over the skies of Malibu. I have two copies of these. That's what happens. I have to refill it. Go back. This is the original copy. Okay. And I did this to it. If I saved it, it'll be on here. If not, it goes white screen. Yep, that's what I was thinking too. Just thinking about that right there. <laughs> not talking about faces. I'm talking about what I'm seeing. <laughs> I don't know if they're faces. I see so many faces now, I can't talk about them. You guys are locked in. But I see that really. Yeah. I don't know. I never saw that when I was a kid. But see, I see that without without the filters. This one I kind of liked. Right here. I just jumped into this thing. These are all Malibu yesterday. Let me go to one that's filtered. That was the shot. I defined it a little bit more. Well, I want to show you something. If I go over here and I lower the light for exposure, it gets darker. It gets stranger too. You got all this wacky clouds. I mean, I've seen them from the ISS. But when you see them underneath it, it's just kind of freaky looking. Now, so this picture was like this. I just went darker. I know Haley would say that's a, those are the locust gathering. Or, yeah, from Revelation, right? And I agree. That could be some kind of locust. You got me. 
I actually would not want to be in that cloud. This one was very strange because of the cutoff. Let's see how it does white? That's because I didn't say This is the original picture. All I did was add black. Oh, it does that too. I didn't save it. There you go. I added black. So you got a few things in here. Like this character. Looks like the Joker or the Batman. No lie. You could almost say this is some evil entity. It's got its own set of wings too. So you want to talk to me talk weird? That's some weird. Let's just get to work on this because this is crazy, crazy. Yeah, I see clouds like that with the shape of a satellite or something. And I clipped these pretty quick, guys, from this bloom sky. Let me go back to the beginning. I'll start you at this weirdest one. This is very strange. I'm going to show you the original. And I said that's just not right the way that looks. So this is what you end up with when you do some filtering for a couple minutes. This is all my captures. This is the crazy stuff I'm finding. Is that not the most insane look? So now I got it like that. Right? Let's just uh, make it even more detailed. Seeing that you guys are liking this weird stuff, that's whatever you guys throw thumbs up, I do more of it. So if you like this strange stuff, I do more power to you. Now, what is that? It looks like a football. It looks like uh, you know, some kind of beam coming down, sucking up cows. I don't know. No, guys, I am serious, but I can't get too serious. I can't make you afraid of this either. I think that's amazing looking. Okay, so let's go to this one. I just want to show off. This is just so surreal. You know, Jesus is coming back and all this is lining up. All the politics are lining up. All the planets are lining up. The other night, I had all the planets lined up. Like a one, two, three, four, five. I've never seen too many of those. Hope I'm recording. I'll be back. Now what I might do on this right here is show you some of the popcorn skies and what it indicates to the Samuel Hoffman model, which is the one I kind of stick to, but I'm open-minded to all the other crazy models. You know, all the way back to the Mayans. I look at it all. Um, I don't really try to tell you what it is. I try to let you have your own mind about it. It's a little bit darker, I think. I'm still drawn back to the octopus in the sky. Look at this thing. I'm going to just kind of like let it sit here for a second. So, Revelation talks about signs in the sun, signs in the heavens, signs in the stars, signs in the sky. Perplexity of the earth. You know, look at the perplexity of wars and famines coming. It's, we're on time, people. We're on time. Do not be afraid. I'm here. That's my mission is to tell you. Do not be afraid of what I even show you. If you wasn't able to handle this, you wouldn't have found my channel. Um, some of you are semi-awake, some of you are full-blown awake, some of you are way awake. Somehow you, you're so awake, you're almost crazy sounding. That's okay, you're not crazy. That's what I'm showing. Neither am I. But anyways, watch this. God don't make no junk, right? So. Now look, I see this. And I go, no, that's just not right. That's just. And then I do this. Let's just go to a quick filter on this one. Dark filter. Boom. This is how you see stuff real quick. I don't know what that is. Okay. Let's just go like this. Show you both both copies of it. You know, but we could lighten that up quickly. See, lighten it up right there. You see them? It's like a little power surge right there in the middle. I don't. I, this first time I looked at some of these. Um, once I clip them, I know that you know they're going to have some amazing stuff in them. I just got to find it. Okay, so let's move on. 
got the sun going down, you got this black circle, kind of like, uh, let's go back. Okay. Like a swirl, with a little bit of energy in the middle, but the sun's over here. So where's that little energy ball coming from? And this is in California, and it is. I can tell you right now, we don't get little uh, storms like that. Like if you were in Texas, you would, but California, you just don't get like dark storms like that. That's really a dark storm with some kind of lightning in the middle. See, so that's what I'm looking for. Strange stuff. What's going on with that? And what is that? Looks like something. Don't look like no clouds. Anyways, just give your imagination a boost. Because when I when you came to, I came to this one, you know, gotta be honest, I was thinking octopus. But then I seen this over here. It's not all chemtrails. Let's show you something. You see the little twist right there? Okay. Let's go to the next one. See if we see the little twist. Roger Paul taught me this. When you see that little twist, and I think he's right, when there's a twist, it's debris. Okay? So, there's a lot of things going on there. And I just want to show you again. I'm not crazy. That's really going on. That's the weirdest, strangest, kind of, I'm telling you, it looks like the bottom of a ship with all this coming out of the bottom of it. Let's get my sci-fi brain kicking in. I've been watching like a lot of UFO stuff and just to really check out the disclosure. I don't know, you see that face too. I've showed you a number of those. Anyways, let's move on. I'll give you something a little bit better to think about. Um, weirdness, just... There's all kinds of weirdness. Here's that picture again. Uh, let me go over here. Not all pictures are great to see. Some pictures are so scary, I don't want to see them again. It's like, okay, well. You guys need an imagination to see that. Do you, do you? Really? Okay, moving on. I don't want to scare you. You know, Jesus is in control. That's all I got to tell you. So you guys got a front row seat, you know, and uh, there you go, same area, and I'll tell you what area it's in, it's in Long Beach, I need to do that, this is Long Beach, now, same time, because I'm doing this in sequence, I'm going from, you know, I had nine pitches in a row, I've seen this over here, and this is in, uh, the market, No, but it's still the same area. It's probably uh, Malibu or something. Now this one's in Franklin, USA. Right here, the octopus. Couldn't pass it up. I'm always checking these things out. So I'm on. I'm on mainly, mainly the. Uh, West Coast. This is like a like a jar of marbles. It's crazy. This is a fish cam. I like it too. Sorry, Bible. Bible, Bible my friend, don't like the fish cam too much. This, I kind of really don't know what it is, but look at the original. Let's see if it goes back to the original. Maybe though this was the original. Nah, there's the original. As soon as I started dehazing it, I ended up with this. What could I say? Weird, right? Okay, that's all I gotta say on that one. Yeah. Let's add red. Now it's even more weird. See, those I just have no explanation for, unless you do. Um, but it's there, nevertheless. Now, people like the disco ball. There's one trying to hide out. Let's see if I could dis expose them. Yeah. There goes your sun simulator activity. Look at that rainbow it throws. But, you guys know that little video I show as an intro trailer. You see the disco ball and it's spinning. So, this is the same thing. Alright, moving on, moving on. Okay, this one. I do not know how. Some of these I did them last night. And I do not know how I got to these filters, but I'm just going to show you. Where's my Rosie? Hi, girl. 
looking for my dog. When I hear other dogs bark. So I went on this one. I said, man, that looks something weird upside down. Okay. And, you know, there's it got a little bit darker. But as I progressed, it gets weirder. I end up with this thing. Oh man, that's really just messing up. That's my dog. Rosie. Mailman, he parks right there. Computer's messing up, dog's freaking out. It must be a bad vibe. On that one. Let's get rid of that one. That one just totally uh, did some kind of EMI thing on it. Look at that. Alright, I'm shutting this down in a minute. No, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be doing this. Unless I didn't save these. Sorry about my dog. Oh, that's the way life is. The dog does that when it's huge. This is the, one, the best one I like because you can really see the purple. It's pretty dark. Okay, let's go. We've seen the green ones. We've seen this one. Mm, let me show you this one. This is in Pring City, U.S. I don't know where that is. That's the information I get. Let's do fast. Uh, filter on it. Blue some. I like that. Yep, yep, yep. You gotta stop and take a picture if you wanna. You can put it on Facebook. I don't care. I'll go to the next one. See, some of these I don't even know. Some of these I filtered like this one. I, no, this one I didn't. I don't think I filtered it. I'm gonna pick a little bit darker. See what I get. I don't like it. Let's go. Right and I'm just kind of mumbling sometimes, forgive me. I mumble a lot. But, okay, let's bring this thing into. I dehazed it already. Dehazed it some more. It's just weird. This is all stuff from the simulation of the sun. Here's a note. I caught this one late last night. This is in Santa Barbara. I'm in Santa Barbara County, so. And I thought it was just a unique looking. You know, I'm not going to say this is not a lens flare or something, but it might be. But it also might be something hiding out there in the bright sun. It was actually really bright. Let me show you. That's what it actually looked like. I turned the light down. That's amazing looking. Alright, that's what I'm showing you there. Just kind of strange stuff I found. Doing a quick filter on them. This one I really like because the way it, the clouds came down. So it almost made this look like a square, right? So check this out. So I ended up with something like this. If I can go back to it. It won't let me. I have to go back to the one I saved already. If I saved it. There you go. I made it a little bit darker. Just to make it distinct. That's kind of okay. Here, a little more normal, normal version. Got me. Comment. Tell me what it is. That's why they have a comment section. Don't don't be political on my uh, my comments because they'll just they'll take down my channel. And I've been warned to tell you guys, but I don't tell you about it a lot. Look at the two eyes. Or three asteroids right there. Here's the other version. One, two, three. One, two. I don't know. Yep, yep, yep. Freaky. That's kind of like uh, my new norm. So what's freaky in your sky? So this is all to me. Yeah, smoke and mirrors. 
That should be the intro on a smoke and mirrors. Just like doing an x-ray right into the clouds. That's what's there. What's all this? We'll drag on and stuff. I don't know. God, it looks like a machine right there. Look at that, Dominic. <laughs> like a ray gun. Alright, go back to the normal. There ain't no normal, see. Oh, this is what I want to show you. Look at this. What, what in the world is that? Sneaking around. You know, this, now this was, this is the highlight of my video today. This is what it looked, this is what it looked like without the overexposure. And, uh, you know, we're talking about Butter Busters out there, uh, Mr. Butters. I don't know how you say his name, but you got eyeballs up here. Check this out. He's going to like this one. You got eyeballs on the nose right there. But you got this like flying gargoyle thing. You see the wings? You guys know how bat wings look, right? I don't you have the webby stuff. Okay, let your imagination open up a little bit. Now check it out. Why do I have a green cloud? That's what was there. But it gets freakier when I dive in. You can see the pictures down here. Okay, so. It's got a very three-dimensional look to it. I know you're saying, show me, show me. What is that? I don't know, asteroid. It's all like, you know, whoever's playing the show up there, whoever's making this up, as we go along, I'm having fun making my own show with it. Ready? Let's see. Did I save it? No, same thing. It's a little darker. I had to save one of these guys. There you go. No, I didn't save. I didn't save any of them. There you go. Now you can see the little red gargoyle bat down there, whatever you want to call them. That thing, whatever you want to call it. I had to save more versions. I did. This one might come out clear. Here we go. This is when I seen that. I said that's like legs hanging there, with chicken feet, kind of you know, bat wings. And you know me. I like the red side of things. So that's red. That red is actually there, but that introverted like that. Introverted is actually pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's the dawning of a new day, people. Wake up. Alright, enough of that weirdness. Moving on. This one, I didn't do nothing to it. It looked boring. I haven't done nothing. It's, it's fresh material. Okay, let's do what I do is put it down. Turn the noise down a little bit. Come down here. Contrast it. Clarify it. Yes, somehow. Clarify can't do it too much. Clarity can't do it too much. So you're dealing with blue and greens. Those are the original colors. See, but when you're looking at chemtrails and everything else, that's what you're getting. But the colors are all there. I'm just extenuating. Is that the right word, Don? Extenuating. So I never learned how to do this thing. I just started playing with it and it became a natural. But look at this thing. Look at the colors. Over Overexposure right there. So if I go underexposure, I might get a better shell. There you go. You know, I don't know why the everything has occurred. Is it a fish eye now? Anyways, let's go to the next weirdness. Yeah, like that. I looked at it and I'm like, that's like a half a planet. These are the people that are just me. Everything out here changes to a lighter blue. Let's put the black on it. Let's see what happens. See the blue that's really blue. When you put the block on it, it gets dark. Now, let's look down here and see if we can pull out those three asteroids real quick. I see three asteroids. Do you see them? See if, they, see if they're really there. I can't do it that way. I gotta highlight. Hold on. 
No, I don't. That's what I think they are, three asteroids on the front of this planet. Then this is our sky. There you go. What do you think? Isn't that a trip? The only thing I can call it. I see stuff like that on drugs when I was a kid. I was a kid in the sky, but I didn't think I'd ever be seen it for real. All right, now. What happens as you start watching stuff like this, you start seeing more. Now, some of it's your imagination. And some of it's whatever is projecting all this crap. Oops, excuse me. All this garbage. This is a family channel, Chris. Now, I see an eye, an eye, and a nose, a mouth. See, so they could be making these illusions. Well, we'll see if I get an EMI on this one. As you look at this thing and relax your eyes, you see like a chin. So everything could become a face, I've decided. You can see the eye developing. So let's do this. Let's contrast. Contrast. Clarity. Now, I'm not going to say this, but I know a couple of you are thinking, that's like the face of Jesus. And he's saying, oh, what's on earth going on? I just, that's a wild looking, ain't it? All right, let's go back to the original of that. Now you see it, right? That's kind of what I saw. Now, let's see, back to the gargoyles. This gargoyle got me amazed. That's what it looks like. Gargoyle. Look up here. These are watchers. Principalities, power, spiritual wickedness in high places. See, I'm here to tell you this is real. That's why the Bible says put on the whole armor of God. You know, and, and what I'm doing is some of you people are been appointed to be inoculated by weirdness like this. Because you're going to see it. People in the streets, when they start seeing this stuff go dark, they're going to start seeing stuff like this and it starts going dark. And it says there's going to be some darkness coming. And there's already spirit, uh, spiritual darkness, you know. If you can't see that, then you might be part of the darkness. Don't get all mad and leave and unsubscribe. But, if you like seeing this, you won't, you won't unsubscribe. Okay, so this is like two days of pictures. Mostly California. Let's see, I've showed you a lot. Let's show you. Did I show you this one? Don't know. I, I think I caught this late last night. Look, it's like a rock. All right, I see the dragon's head. I know. Comment. I do too. Here's his paw. No, that's a little dragon. I don't know what it is. Could be gargoyles in this which one. Thing. If you know, if you see something, say something. Isn't that what the, the slogan is? If you see something, let's go to noise reduction. Not too much. A lot of noise means a lot of EMI going on. So it's like that. You don't know what it is. But I don't like putting too much. Leave some of the junk. Because that's what the skies are really like. Full of electricity. Anyhow. And then you got your popcorn skies. Which I've never seen none like that. Well, I have on uh, Rebecca's channel. She finds good stuff like that. And that could be Nipicity um, with the popcorn, I think. Or Yuri. Could be Yuri. Now, Yuri must be close because a lot of I think Yuri has a lot of green in it. I'm just hanging out going live today, right? What day is it? Wednesday. 
keep my wife in prayer. She's fighting a really bad head cold. She's winning though. She always wins. She always wins. Look at this thing. You know, my imagination went automatically to uh, demon face with alien craft right over it. Let's see, real dark. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what were those little creatures used to play with on? Oh, with the blue, the blue hair. I forget what they're called. You guys probably remember. Look at that face. No, no, no. Let's get off of that. Um, I really don't know what that. Yeah, that's not good. I was kind of suspecting that was a face, but what you're really looking at is it looks like a moon or something, a moon or something, and a moon or something. And debris, maybe. Alien ship, I don't know. You know, you guys that have all the perfect answers, comment please, because it's not that I'm stupid, I just don't want to lie to you, you know? I don't want to make something up, because I'm not, you know, I'm making $15 a month doing this on YouTube. No lie. And so I'm not going to sit here and make $15 a month and then lie to you. Lie to you to get more points. Eh, nah, it's not worth lying. But it's worth showing. <laughs> okay, now, if you want to look at this view, it's like dragon eye, dragon eye, dragon mouth, right? And I see that stuff easy, but I have to remember it's also asteroid, 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 three green asteroids. But then I see that right there. I see that right there. <laughs> Almost looks like the edge of a saucer. You telling me? Sharpen it. Well, maybe two sauces. One there and one there. No matter what you look at it, it's a part of your imagination you can work with it. Um, it's fun to look at. It's fun to do a show with because it's just weird. <coughs> I choose to show you and be weird. That one's easy to break down. Yeah. Notice how everything has the, <laughs> the green, which indicates that I think it's this is the Uria, they both have green. What are them two objects? Okay. okay. You can see it clear, you know, I'm not moving, it's not moving. That's crazy. Look, look at this one. No idea. No idea. That's my Texas coming out. I like that. I know what I'm seeing. You see that right there. That dark blue. Let's put it in a green light. This is artificial green. See what I'm saying though? It's the black spot right there. You've got these weird funky clouds. So on this channel, like what I do is I show you, we investigate, and then you go, what is the shadow so dark from? It's because out in space, there's a thing called the sun. And when you put a planet seven times Saturn in front of the sun, you'll, you'll, you'll possibly get a big old dark spot. But what you normally see is that right there. But I point out the obvious. See the curvature going up? Now let's go back to normal, more normal, but see, now you see the dark. So when I run across that picture, the fisheye helps because it gives stuff that's really round, allows it to be round. You know, this stuff going up like this is because of the fish cam. But that being round and dark is really round and dark. Okay, that made sense. And if you go blackout. There's many things, gargoyles and all, that go oh, right there. If you let your imagination go crazy, as long as you're not on drugs, have fun. Because it's, it's not like taking drugs. This is like what's really in your skies. 
But uh, you see how the black, the black up there? It's really black up there. It stays hard, don't it? Right there. That looks like a dragon head. Like that almost looks like Godzilla. I'm telling you right now, right off the bat, that's a Godzilla looking, you know, alien looking thing. Too much clarity. So right now there's like Fox News on, and everybody's getting their narratives ready for the summer lie to us about stuff but we don't care we got Jesus we really don't care just interested in that green looking dragon head could be the dragon just sitting up there who knows Godzilla the dragon but I'm more interested in that black spot right there anyways get off that thing it's just getting me all weird go back to a normal picture like this popcorn sky makes you feel better don't it If you look around and start putting sharpness to stuff, clarity to stuff, and really tuning it in, you're gonna with this kind of filter, you're gonna see way more. You might not even get out of this thing for hours on end if you're into doing filtering because you could put out some weird shows. Like right there, I see those three things right there. That's not right. I don't know. I could guess guesstimate that those are spaceships, ours, theirs. Who cares? My new thing, ours, theirs, who cares? <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, so you got all that going on. So if I'm boring you, I'm going to get out of this. This is the original Popcorn Sky. A lot of this I've showed you. I don't think I've showed you this yet. Oh, here you go. Another disco ball I caught. Actually, this one is a, a different one than the other one. The spaceship. No, this is the original spaceship from the other day. That's like lost in space crap right there. It looks just like it, in a way. But what nobody looks at is what's up here. What's sneaking around up there in your sky? Okay, let me, gotta share my rainbow. It's beautiful. Look how it touches the ground. You don't usually see that. Okay, off the rainbow. I don't know what this is, but you can guesstimate. Try to make sure. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you something, and you have to pay attention from this point on. <laughs> How long have we been doing this video? Okay, but and, right, we start out, I catch this picture. And I'm kind of not liking that picture. I'm saying something's wrong with this sun, something's eclipsing something. So I whip out like a filter. This is Mexipix filter, I call them. I see this curvature, right? I'm going to go back. I'm going to use that Mexipix curve. And I see here and I see over there. It's very dark. I go back to Mexipix. No, level. No, go back even more. So... When I see stuff like this, it's like these clouds come out of nowhere to hide stuff, like right there. Then I see this, like, oh, the sun is super bright. Look how big the sun is. I'm like, that's just not right. So I can see it. You know? So, put the old one, two on it. Bam. That's what you're really seeing right there. Whoa. Where is this like round weirdness with the weird and it's oblong? Where does that come from? Or is that like the is that like from the sun simulated the, the green flare or the blue flare or the red flare? I think that's a planet. So I kept looking. And to my sudden surprise, the sun turned down. Now, I'm sorry. That cloud did not turn that whole sun down. So. That's what we got to figure out. I haven't touched this one yet. As you all know, we turn the light down. Let's see what's up here. Get rid of the noise. Notice how this cloud has got a straight dark line to it. 
<laughs> yeah, right. And it curls. Yeah, but this one up here, really interesting. I just noticed that. It's the first time I looked at this picture with a filter. So, I do like the blue. But you remember, the last picture was this. Well, actually, this. Let's see if this one will come in. No, I didn't save them, so it does that to me. But you know, you had that giantness. And all of a sudden, boom. Notice the cut in the cloud right there. And then the next picture. Look what time it is. 18.28. 10 minutes later. Yep. The sun grew 5,000 times bigger. Let's see what's really behind us. See, this is not right up here. Turn this thing down. That's what we're looking at. Okay. Now, remember I showed you clouds that look like hands connecting? I'm just saying. Just saying. I told you that was not right up there. It's not. Okay, let's see if I can clear that up. That's a weird cloud. I find that to be weird right there. I'm not saying it's anything. You might be saying it's something. That's okay. <laughs> I just, I'm amazed at how the cloud is cut off there and there. Or is it actually so bright that it's just covering it? That's what most people would say. I don't know. You got me. Some of this I'm saying you guys won't even hear it. Some of you will. Now this one I thought was interesting because I seen it on another picture. It's like four horses. One, two, three, four. I did. I seen it on another picture. But that's still the sun we're dealing with. Right? Maybe. Oh, what's that? What's that? <laughs> I'm not saying it's this packet. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like multiple crafts, but it could just be a stack of pancakes. Just joking. That's just weird. Sun simulator is here or not? I think it is. I think it's giving away telltale signs. So I call this stuff smoke and mirrors, you see. But, you know, I've never seen stuff like this in my life. And I've only been around 61 years, so who knows. It's like the normal old sunset, right? That's no, no filter, nothing. 423 that happened. Okay, I don't want you to miss nothing here. Let's see. Nothing else. Oh, this last one I took. Little pink dot. We're facing east. I think it was east. Yeah. 20 hundred hours, I think. Alright, guys. I'll talk to you later. I'll leave you this picture to think about. So what did you take out of this class today? You just don't know. I think that was my highlighted, <laughs> highlighted shot. Pretty crazy. Have a good one. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, and everything else you do. God bless.